have lost my entire family to a house fire. And just like that, I was orphaned in a single night. Everyone was surprised that I survived. It was as if they wanted me to perish as well. I hated their guts. Hated the looks they gave me. And then before I could even feel the grief of losing my family, I was put up for adoption. I was about to be sent to some stranger's home and I was scared. I didn't want a new family. I missed my old one. But nobody cared about what I wanted. I was just a piece of furniture for them. This family or that, this house or that, it didn't matter to them. Soon the day came when I was sent off to a new family. It was a big house with a lot of outdoor space to play around. Even inside the house there were a lot of places to explore or hide in. I could hear the banter of two kids playing somewhere in the house and I was eager to see them. However, they took me straight to the kitchen and showed me my place. They clothed me and moved a loving hand over my head. I was happy. They seemed nice, unlike my previous family. The kids were soon called in for dinner and two toddlers came rushing into the kitchen. As soon as I saw them, I fell in love with them. I already started imagining how fun it would be to play with them. The children took up seats on the dining table. The food smelled delicious and they looked like one big happy family. I watched as they had a scrumptious meal while the kids gave their mother a hard time making them eat. I realized they had forgotten all about me by this time. Days passed. I was to stand in the kitchen all day long while the family kept busy with their daily lives. Nights were the same. I would be left alone in the dark, right next to the fridge. I would get lonely and started feeling ignored and unloved. Then one night, I snuck out into the house. I hadn't seen the other rooms yet. The house was huge. There were so many rooms and so many things to play with that I didn't want to go to the kitchen again. I felt liberated. I peeped into the parents' bedroom. They were fast asleep. So I went to check on the kids. The kids looked adorable. How I wanted to play with them. I decided that I would sneak out of the kitchen when no one was watching and go play with the kids during the daytime, sometime. The parents' alarm was about to go off, so I returned to the godforsaken kitchen to assume my place by the fridge. It was a punishment, a torment of sorts, and a seed of rebellion was rising deep inside of me. I started sneaking out almost every night. I was getting sloppy too. Sometimes I would leave the fridge door open, sometimes I would spill some milk or drop some crumbs on the dining table or even in other rooms. I liked to draw shapes on the walls. <laughs> One night I tried that and the older kid got lashed for it. I was happy that I wasn't caught, but I became sad when the kids started crying. Then one day, I snuck out of the kitchen during the day and made friends with the younger child. He was so cute, I couldn't have enough of him. However, I had to vanish out of his room when I heard his mother's footsteps in the distance. It was a close save that day. However, with time, I became gutsy because the young one and I had become very close friends. I would become angry when anyone interrupted our game. He was the only one who considered me as a part of the family. 
he started including me in his family drawings and the rest of the family took offense i didn't like it didn't like it one bit i started playing pranks on the family during the night i would switch off the alarm clock of the parents hide their clothes and shoes so they will be late for office or some other appointments and even spill things all over the house then one day they had some guests over when i made the mistake of moving the coffee pot on the counter everyone saw that and the family put their foot down they decided that enough was enough the next day they brought a lady to our home she moved around with her eyes half closed <laughs> looking like a lunatic and then pointed straight at me what what did i do why do they look so mad at me the lunatic woman told the family that they should get rid of me what why i couldn't understand why she was spreading hate what did i ever do to her she told them not to pass me on to another family that they should either bury me or burn me alive i couldn't believe what i was hearing and they were even listening to her my beloved so called family didn't spend much time brooding over my fate the parents decided that even if i was abandoned there was a risk that someone would find me and take me home if i was buried someone could stumble upon me sometime so i had to be burned my god how could they even think about doing that to me i was so mad and terrified that i ran from one room to the other threw dishes and towels and whatever i could grab my hands on at them tried to scare them the best i could but they grabbed hold of me and dragged me to the backyard this was the first time i was seeing the darned place and this was going to be the last place i was ever going to see i was exhausted by now i couldn't believe that the beautiful backyard with swaying trees in the distance could look so horrific the wonderful breeze was going to help the fire consume me faster sudden hatred filled my heart i hated my family i hated those trees the breeze and the whole world i hated god why did i have such a worthless existence they poured some type of exhilarant on me and lit me on fire i screamed and read and pleaded but to no avail they just stood watching me burn i heard the crazy woman say now this side table won't haunt you anymore suddenly something changed they were thinking i was just another piece of furniture here i was thinking them as my family and they thought of me as just a piece of junk what kind of people were these i had become so furious at them that i started spewing fire the extreme heat didn't hurt me anymore but became my weapon as it chased them inside the house my rage engulfed the entire house with all of them inside and burned them alive i was so furious i didn't even want to think about the younger child anymore the house burned and burned and burned for hours right in front of me and i couldn't care less but when i finally calmed down and came to my senses i was overwhelmed with sorrow and regret what had i done how could i do this to my family yet again why do they always make me so mad <laughs>